Say feel your face when you say money dance Turn it shit into a nightclub back again today with another video I'll be showing you guys how i achieve my quick weave if you guys don't know what a quick weave or a pronto is basically it's not a sew-in it's not a wig it's basically like when you use glue to glue on the tracks but i will show you my tips and tricks of course if you guys are scared of glue because i was too but you guys have nothing to be scared of just finished doing my quick weave right now i have the ali julia brazilian curly hair i do have almost three bundles in i will say two pushing it to three as you guys can see this hair is huge I do want to let you guys know I did not do my wash routine like I usually do with my curly hair only because it is super late and I don't want to wet this hair right now to go to bed because then a bitch is about to get sick just the hair straight out of the package and installed into my head as you guys know when it comes up to curly hair I love to do my whole wash routine where I wash it with shampoo, conditioner, and then I put my curly product. And then it will transform the curls from looking like this to actually more natural curls. So yeah, like I said, it is almost like 1, 2 in the morning and I have to put Autumn to bed. She's actually up waiting for me to finish filming this video. So anyway, you guys, I did just put, quickly put it in this half up half down this is just one of the hairstyles that you can do with a quick weave um especially the way i left out my leave outs um you can do a ponytail you can do a bun you can do a middle part you can do a flip over you can do a half up half down and a quick weave can last up to anywhere from a week and a half to two weeks if y'all don't know how to braid if y'all don't know how to sew like your girl no worries you guys because this is why i'm gonna be showing y'all how to do a quick weave okay make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys want to be down with the prima donna nation y'all already know <laughs> we slate all day <coughs> guys i need to take my ass to bed but i'm not gonna front like i am feeling myself like Ooh, girl. Um, if you guys want a styling video um, without the half up and actually see how I blend my leave out, how I get these curls to look really, really natural, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and I will do kind of like a get ready with me full time edition, hair, makeup edition. Anyway, if y'all guys want to see that, thumbs up this video as well, okay? But anyway, if you guys want to see this hair tutorial, then keep on watching. Bye. Starting out with my hair in this crazy ass ponytail. Um, I did want to quickly mention and take out my hair for you guys so that you guys can see. I'm just gonna quickly go over like all of the supplies and stuff that we're gonna be using for like this quick pronto weave. First, of course, you're gonna need some bundles. As y'all know, my bundles are always from Ali Julia. I'll be putting in some curly hair today. I am so fucking excited, you guys. I've been dying to get some curly hair. Once you like run your fingers through it and loosen up the curls, you guys, they be on fleek. I'm gonna be using three bundles to achieve this look. Um, I'm gonna be using a 26, a 24, and a 22 inch. Definitely check out their site because they are having an up to 40% off. Um, so definitely take advantage, you guys. I always like to make uh, like my hair videos kind of like when they're having the sales. So that way, like it's a great time to cop you some hair. But of course, all of the hair information and the link to, of course, Ali Julia and their hair store and everything like that will be all in the description box. So anyway, um, beside um your bundles, of course, you're gonna be needing a spandex cap. Um, I'm using a dome cap. I usually like to use like wig caps like regular mesh caps in the black shade but I only have nude ones and that's gonna really annoy me I'm gonna do it with the dome cap so this is really really gonna protect your hair um next you're gonna be needing some glue this glue you guys like it's so weird because I never thought that I would actually have like a specific favorite weave glue like it's just fucking weave glue but I do and I swear by this glue so much you guys it is the Salon Pro 30 second super hair bond glue purchased a huge bottle because that's how much I love it because I'm probably wondering like now we about to put some glue in our hair no Leslie thinking the same shit when I first started doing quick weaves I was like no I'm not gonna put glue in my hair. Let me just tell you guys the magic product that makes making glue-ins so easy and 
have you stress free the salon pro 30 second but this is the super hair bond remover okay so this is the weave glue this is the remover for this glue okay i'm not sure if this works on any other brand of glue but these go hand in hand together i took out my last quick weave i had literally minimal to no shedding and it came out within 10 minutes peeled the whole shit back and it just came off if you guys want to see a video of how i remove my quick weaves let me know down below and I have no problem doing that for you guys hair wait about five minutes and you will see them starting to lift um like I said but it also depends how long you have your quick weave in but anyway let me stop rambling I'm gonna show you guys right now what I'm about to do to transform my hair from this to my crazy curly quick weave hey. All right, you guys, so let's jump into voiceover real quick so we could get this on and pop in. I'm going to be taking out my leave out with a comb. Um, I like to section out my leave out, like the whole front section, because I don't really like to have a part or anything like that when I have curly hair. So taking out your leave out like this will ensure that you can do the updo, I mean half up, half down. You can put your hair up or you can do the flip over, middle part, whatever kind of part. So it's really versatile, so I really like putting my leave out like this when I do have curly hair. So boom, so now that you have your amount of leave out that you want to leave out, <laughs> now you just want to go ahead and get it out of the way. So I'm just going to be doing a messy ass twist just so that way this hair doesn't interfere with the rest of my hair. And um, as you guys know, I really do not know how to braid that great. And I got these long ass stripper nails, which makes nothing better. So I had to ask Babe for a little bit of help. And Kenny just did these four jumbo braids just so I could get my hair really nice and flat. He's not an expert at braiding, but he did better than what I could do with these long ass nails. So anyway, I'm just going to take the ends of those four braids and I'm just going to sew them down just so that way the ends of the braids are just not dangling down my neck. We need everything to be covered underneath the cap. So if you guys, like I said, really do not know how to braid, you can do flat twists. You can even slick your hair really, really down and just tie up the ponytail. Just make sure underneath the cap that your hair is super duper flat. So yeah, shout out to Babe for doing these braids be putting on my cap and I'm gonna put it on over my whole entire head even over the leave out and now I'm just gonna take a eyebrow marker no this is not a marker this is a pencil and I'm just going to um, basically draw out where our leave out was because you don't want to glue on any tracks that's gonna be the part that's gonna be covering our tracks so yeah now I'm just gonna be taking our curly hair like I said this is the Ali Julia Brazilian curly and I'm gonna measure cut glue and basically pop it on my damn head if you guys are a fan of my channel if you've seen a few tutorials of mine you guys know i'd be making wigs and stuff so i'm pretty sure by now we all know how to glue on some tracks if not then go watch some of my videos I do want to mention that this hair is so full and it's so nice. Um, you do not need so many bundles when you are working with curly hair because remember that when it does dry, it does frizz up a bit. So it will be a lot bigger than what you're going to think. So I only needed about two, two and a half bundles. I'm just going side to side. But now that I am at the top of the head, I am laying my track straight across just so that way I am not creating no type of part and they're going to line up right where I put that marker to, you know, guide me where my leave out was. Now that you secured down your last track right up to that marker line, now you just want to go ahead and grab your scissors. And now we're going to cut that excess cap just so we can reveal our leave out. So I'm going to do that really quick.
after you go ahead and cut all the excess cap as you guys can see your leave out is out and now you just want to go ahead and bring it back um as you guys know i was working with straighter hair prior to doing this tutorial so my bundles are curly and my hair is straight i know i have to go ahead and wash it and blend my leave out but it is two in the morning when i was recording this and my camera died so i'm just showing you guys my little snapchat videos of how the hair looked right before i went to bed i just did some edges real quick and as you guys can see the hair looks bomb even though it is fresh out of the pack i am gonna wash it just to loosen up the curls and make them look really natural but thank you guys so much for watching and until next time guys bye